Hi everyone, Maxine here with Tink and I Treasures. Welcome back to my studio. Today in front of you, you see a very pretty little book. Um, I added this, um, it's, it's a gold faux leather to the spine. And I also added the lace trim and the little bling um, and over here. And original, and I did all this when the book was full. <laughs> it had pages in it. And I thought I would do an altered book and, and use the pages that were in the book. Only I started to have a problem. And I will show you, this is the inside of that book. Hopefully you can see right here, see how the pages are not, are not lying straight. Um, we have this bunch up going on here. Do you see that? I hope you can see that right here. See how that's starting to happen? It started happening every section I was going into. It, it started happening. And I have found, and sometimes that happens to me. Other times I have no problems at all. Well, it was pointed out to me what the problem is. And I will show you so you won't waste your time making the same mistake. Now, here's two books. And, you know, they're pretty similar there is see that and here's this one now maybe you can see the difference maybe you can't but there is a difference to the these two books this book the pages are glued in. They're not sewn in. They're glued in. And that's what was creating that problem. That the pages in this little book were glued in and not sewn. So this one, and I marked one of the signatures in here. And oh, maybe you can see this. Maybe you can't. I will get you down really close and put some light on the issue and maybe you can see this but see here there's the thread so this was sewn in and this type of book is very easy to do an altered book using these pages you don't get that weird uh, bunching up and folding over and there's a method to, to doing this um, uh, Rachel with Roxy Creations actually has a video on how to uh, tear out pages because you can't keep all these pages in the book you know if you're gonna do an altered book um, journal, you can't keep all these pages. You got to get rid of a good number of these. You know, probably 75% you have to get rid of. And Roxy, I mean, Rachel at Roxy Creations has a really good video on doing that. Um, if you want to check that out, if you're interested. So, <laughs> coming back to this little pretty guy, little pretty beauty here. Um, so I removed the pages. I kept this um, page mark. It was part of the uh, book, so I kept it. And I used Tyvek tape to go over uh, where the signature or where the, the <laughs> spine is to reinforce it, to strengthen it. Um, so that's what I used. You could also use, um, they have uh, a book tape, specifically a book tape, which I do have some of that as well, but this 
Tyvek works works really well for this. So another thing I wanted to kind of go over that I've never really uh, talked about too much is the pages that you use in a journal. Let me see if I can, oops, wrong way, Feldman. There we go. Hopefully that's better. So most of my journals that I have done, I have used a digital, some kind of digital kit or scrapbook paper or, or a combination of that with some coffee dyed paper. Um, and that's typically what I have used. But for this, this journal here, I decided to go a different route and maybe maybe have this journal more of a junk journal type vibe. <laughs> so what I have done, I've got all the pages um, folded and, and what have you. I, I took this and, you know, had my page size. Now this this is the page size when it's opened up. So um, it would be eight and a half long and 6.75 tall. But one page would be um, four and a fourth. Okay, so this is a page size. So this would fit in there. So I have folded everything to be that size. And so here is um, pages from, uh, what's it called? Illustrator's, Illustrator's book. This is a page from the Illustrator's book. And I kept, I kept the interesting um, pictures and then on the back side, I just lined with some plain coffee dyed paper. Um, this is, you know, coffee dyed like lined paper. And I made a little um, side tuck um, out of the extra. Instead of cutting it off, I folded it over. Okay. Here's another one from that book. And again, I folded over the extra and, and made a little side tuck. And on the inside, I covered it with um, old book page. And then I will do something else with that. But I left, I left the pretty page. Uh, this, I believe, is from that books again. And I, I rather like that picture, so I'm going to leave that, and I will do something with the inside here, cover that, or what have you. Here's some straw paper, and again, I just folded the ex excess, and I'll either make side tucks or just leave them like that, you know, for writing or what have you. Here's another one from that book. So I kept the in interesting illustration and the picture and just covered the inside with um, old pages again. So we're going to go over that again and again and again. <laughs> That's why I, this one I've, I've left the way it was. Um, aside from cutting it to size, I, I have just left that the way it was. He, this is from a different kind of book. It's very old. The, the paper is really like, it feels like kind of like velvet. And um, it's a, a drawing. So I have this extra. So I either need to fold over or cut off. Um, I'll probably fold it over so we can keep it. Here is uh, some other paper. This is old, old ledger paper. This one doesn't happen to have any writing on it. 
And it again, it's too big. It needs to be folded down or cut off. Here's some old music page. Um, this is... I don't know what it's from, an old book or something, I don't know. But this one, I folded the overage up, cut a little slit right here, and going to make uh, two pockets out of that one. Here is some um, dyed paper that I have done. Here's some other dyed paper. This is some decorative paper that I had. This is coffee dyed. Some more old um, music pages that I've coffee dyed. This is old um, a page out of an old catalog. This one is like uh, old newspaper. This is from a cookbook. As I picked the one that had ice cream, I thought that would be fun. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to make ice cream, because I'm not going to do anything with this page. I'm just going to leave it so a person can actually see those. Um, here's some like index cards that I coffee dyed that I thought I would put in there somehow. And these are old book pages. Looks like, in, I don't know, French maybe? Words? I'm not sure. Um, but these were actually the right size, so I decided why not. Uh, here is some waxed paper. Really pretty. Kind of on the small size. So I've had this um, kicking around in my stash for quite some time because it is on the small size but it's perfect size for this journal um, here are some uh, digitals that I made myself <laughs> so yeah these are my digitals I'm not sure that I'll put those in or not um, this is from uh, magazine so we'll do something with the inside there cover that up uh, this is from the same magazine on uh, traveling to South Africa so I'm gonna leave this but you know I'll probably cover this just so you know I can do something with that Some more South Africa travel. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Anyway, <laughs> uh, here's some other random papers that I had in my stash. Some random, random. Um, I, I think those are digitals. Here's some old paper uh, with, um, I don't know what language that is, French or Italian, I'm not sure. Uh, I think I probably got it from Rachel, but I'm going to have to do something and, and you know make this stronger here. Some more coffee dyed paper that I had. And this is just, you know, a cream colored, more of a cardstock. It looks like it's bigger. Let's see. Yeah, it is bigger. So I either cut this off or fold it in. We'll just see how many fold ins that we have. Here's some more scrap or uh, straw paper. Again, it's bigger, so it would need to be either folded in or cut. But I just wanted to show you that you don't always need a digital kit. You could take parts of digital kits. Um, 
but you know you could find newspapers uh, cookbook pages you know ads from or listings from a catalog music paper um, you know just all kinds of stuff you can you can find to make a journal with you don't have to have fancy paper you don't have to have a digital kit you can make it out of um, you know I mean you have a magazine like this you can make your journal out of just pages from this magazine you know you would have to cover them and what's what have you unless you found some really good pictures that you would just keep like I did in in some of these you know um, you know where I kept kept the pictures so it, it depends on the book you know but an old book or a gardening book or a cookbook uh, anything like that you can you can take pages and and make your journal so anyway I just thought I'd come along and and show you uh, some different ideas on uh, what to do and and what to use and uh, like I said this 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 book is is small it's smaller than what I typically make for a journal so but it's going to be a lot of fun. And what I'm going to do is a hidden spine. So here I have my spine measurement. And it fits, if you can see, right, right in here where, where these two um, sides come in. It fits really nice right in between there. So I'm going to do a hidden spine. So I will actually sew the signatures to this, but I'm going to cover it with um, whatever paper I'm going to use for the inside. I am going to have this spine covered with that paper. Then I'm going to sew the signatures in. And then what I do is with the paper attached... I'm going to glue the paper to these two panels, not this to here. And that will hold it in the book without messing about with here. And this, I will probably wrap the ends with some kind of fabric um, to make, let's see if I can show you, I don't know. Okay, see see this book here? See this along here? That's a header. Um, so I'm going to have, have a little bit of fabric. It can't be real bulky or anything, but have some fabric to make one of these little headers and, and just cover that, cover this spine with that. So anyway, that's my plans. Uh... <laughs> I'll let you know how I how it comes out. I'm sure I will show you. But in the meantime, yeah, start looking around. You would be surprised how much you could find that you can use to make a journal. Um, so until next time, take care of you, love each other, and I will see you again. Please remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment. It helps my channel to grow. It helps YouTube to know that content of this channel is of interest. Um, so yes, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment and watch the whole thing. Although, if, you, if you're hearing this message, then you have. So, yay for you. <laughs> Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.